All right, so the midterms are um, about a week away. They're eight days away, and uh, President Obama has been um, going around and um, campaigning and uh, talking. And we're gonna um, we're gonna watch uh, some clips. Now we're gonna watch some clips. Some of you here are on Social Security. Yep. Some of your parents are on Social Security. Yeah. Some of your grandparents are on Social Security. Yeah. You know why they have Social Security? Because they worked for it. Yeah. They worked hard jobs for it. And the Republicans want to do away with Social Security completely. That's what they want to do. They want to just completely get rid of Social Security. They have chapped hands for it. They had long hours and sore backs and bad knees to get that Social Security. And if Ron Johnson does not understand that, if he understands... Senator Ronnie Boy, my favorite. Tax breaks ...for private planes more than he understands making sure that seniors who've worked all their lives are able to retire with dignity and respect, he's not the person who's thinking about you and knows you and sees you. And God he damn. not be your senator from Wisconsin. Nope. And um, something about... Um, President Obama is when he gets passionate about something when he's talking about something he's so well versed um, you can understand what he's saying it's um, really clear the message he's trying to put out there and um, it's it's the complete opposite with the Republicans you know Obama uh, he'll at least use facts and um, then go in at someone the Republicans resort to just you know stupid fucking nicknames you know they make up these uh you know crooked hillary stupid shit like that um they resort to physical insults um they try to be funny uh it's just ridiculous and um it's really refreshing uh to see someone who has uh, a fucking brain get up there and talk Is the rest of the clip just them clapping? I mean, the message he's sending is pretty clear. If you're related to him, if you donate to his campaign, you get a deal. If you're not, you're out of luck and you're on your own. Pretty much. That's pretty. That, I mean, that's that's kind of the Republican playbook. I mean, they don't even they don't even give a fuck about themselves even. So, so one of the big things when he was going around is, um. Uh, he actually traveled to uh, Georgia and talked about, he spoke on Herschel Walker. And we're going to watch uh, some clips of what Obama said, and then uh, we're going to watch Herschel Walker's response to what Obama said. Violent crime has gone up over the last seven years, not just the last two <laughs> No, Obama. No, 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 no. Joe Biden's America is riddled with crime. As soon as Joe Biden took over, everything went to shit. The second he got the presidency, it went to shit. Why do you think they tried an insurrection, Obama? Damn. Not just in liberal states, but in conservative rural states, too. That's a serious problem. Who will fight to keep you and your family safe? The Republican politicians who want to flood our streets with more guns, who actually voted against more resources for our police departments? Is it somebody who carries around a phony badge and says he's in law enforcement? Damn, Obama. Is he a kid playing cops and robbers? Or is it leaders like Reverend Warnock and John Asa and Sanford Bishop who work? So, um, Warnock, um, Raphael Warnock is the, uh, he's running against Herschel Walker in the, uh, Georgia Senate race, and, um, right now, at least according to 538, Warnock is leading by a sliver, 
just a sliver, and the race has been close. Um, they have stats they track by um, pretty much almost uh, every day, and it, the race has it's been really really close, and um, it uh, good on Obama for calling out someone like Herschel Walker's ridiculous, absolutely fucking ridiculous tactics. Um, and the things that he says, it's not even tactics. He's just a ridiculous person. He's an absolutely ridiculous person. It's a study in contrast. Now, there are a lot of young people here. I, I love, yes. That makes me excited. Some of you may not remember, but Herschel Walker was a heck of a football player. So, <laughs> um... That's another thing I think a lot of people don't know. Herschel Walker, uh, his brain has been, um, uh, he's got CTE brain uh, for playing football, so he's not all there, and it's I can't sit there and be like it's completely his fault because, uh, you know, I personally think that the, the American sport of football uh, needs a lot more safety nets for the players because they get fucked the hell up, and, um, you know, Herschel Walker's brain is fucked the hell up. I mean, I, I mean, some of you are, are too young to remember, but in college, he was amazing. One of the best running backs of all time. But, but, but here's the... He, Herschel Walker is considered a football what? legend. That doesn't, that doesn't matter, though, when you're running uh, for uh, Congress. That doesn't fucking matter. Playing football is not going to get you anywhere in the government. That's... No. Does that make him the best person to represent you in the USA? Okay, well, he said it. Does that make him equipped to... Obama, another thing about Obama when he speaks is his use of inflection is just incredible. It's... It's perfect, almost. He... Um, when he talks, he... Uh, he has these... Sometimes short, sometimes longer pauses um, when he's speaking, and uh, it really it, it helps him get his message across really, really well. As for when the Republicans, they just get up there and they just say stupid, brainless shit. They don't. They just it's dumb. Weigh in on the critical decisions about our economy and our foreign policy and our future. Yep. Hey, let, let's do a thought experiment. Let's say you're at the airport and you see. Mr. Walker, and you say, hey, there's Herschel Walker, Heisman winner. Let's have him fly the plane. <laughs> he also turns around to the people you behind him a lot. Say that. Respect. You'd want to know, does he know how to fly an airplane? Or, or let's say you go to the hospital. And you sit. You, you say, you know, that Walker guy, he sure can nope. tear it up at Sanford Stadium. Give him a scalpel. No, you, you wouldn't say that. You'd, you'd ask at least. I would. Has he done surgery before? <laughs> and, and, and by the way, the opposite is true, too. Like, you, you may have liked me as president, but you would not want me starting a tailback for the dogs <laughs> i mean can you imagine my slow old skinny behind getting hit by some 300 pound defensive tackle who runs a four six forty you'd have to scrape me off the field no i can't <laughs> no i can't that was um so that was great. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we have. Uh, I think we might have one more clip of Obama talking about Herschel. I'm not a hundred percent. That might be the only one. Okay. So uh, that was um, that was one of the um, that was the only one. And then now we have uh, Herschel's response to Obama. And I hadn't seen those Obama clips until right now I did though because this popped up in my feed yesterday and I was just curious 
because it just the video was really clickbaity. Um, we're gonna watch um, Herschel Walker respond to what Obama said, and something else about this, um, something else about this Forbes video that I think is absolutely fucking wrong is the title of the video is Herschel Walker responds to Obama's attacks. I I don't see how that terminology is uh, correct in any way, but you know. We'll we'll sit here and see. Maybe Herschel got his feelings hurt. President Obama was here last night. Y'all saw him. He said, "I'm a celebrity." Yeah. That was it. He got that one wrong, didn't he? I'm not a celebrity. I'm that warrior for God. I'm not a celebrity. I'm that warrior for God. You know, Herschel, you're that warrior for God. You know, God. You know, He said that in the Bible. You must pay for women to have abortions, multiple women, and then act like you didn't know them. It's right there in the book of Isaiah. Nah, he, got, he got something else wrong, too. You remember two years ago, he told us to vote for Joe Biden, didn't he? He got that one wrong, did he not? He has no responses to what Obama said. This is so sad. He got that wrong, wrong, did he not? Man, he can't even talk. Hey, he got that one wrong. He's lost twice to George already, hasn't he? So I think he probably need to sit this one out. Probably need to sit this one out. Herschel's you? losing the race right now. Like I said, he's not losing by a lot, but he's losing the fucking race right now. He probably need to sit this one out because let me tell you, this one's so funny. He said that he wouldn't get me to be a pilot. I wouldn't hire him to be a pilot either. Would you? He actually said he wouldn't hire him to be a pilot, Herschel. That's what he fucking said. I guess he didn't watch the whole clip. He did get his fifis hurt. Hey, I, hey, I haven't taken my pilot license, have I? So he got that one wrong, and then I tell you- He sounds so, so just- It's not even misinformed, this is just sad. You know how me to do before you hire a, uh, uh, Warnock, I bet he'll hire me to be on his- He can't even remember his name! He can't remember the dude who's running against him's name! I tell you what he will hire me to do before you And he's criticizing Joe Biden for not being able to talk. Uh, uh, uh Warnock. I bet he'll hire me to be on his debate team before you get worn out with him now. Yeah. His debate team? What the fuck? Does he think he won the debate that he didn't show up to? Or the one he did show up to and got his ass whooped in? Ah. Uh... Anyway, I, I just want to tell you guys this. People ask me why I'm running. I'm going to tell you, this is really short. And I don't know if nobody can't get it. They won't understand this. After what? Back it up. Back it up. I want to tell you guys this. People ask me why I'm running. I'm going to tell you, this is really short. And I don't know if nobody can't get it. They won't understand this. Okay. I think I understood After what he said. After two years, you see where we're at today. After two years, you see where we're at today. Gas prices is up. No, none of these Republicans ever mentioned the war in Ukraine. They never mentioned any of the other um, worldwide issues that uh, might be uh, affecting uh, the American economy. They just p put all the blame on the Democrats and Joe Biden, but they don't provide any evidence as to how those things... Oh, Joe Biden became president and then prices went up, so obviously there's a correlation there. There has to be, because according to the Republicans that do their research, the president, uh, you know, fucking... He wakes up and just decides what where the economy is going to go which actually isn't true and a lot of people a lot of americans seem to be misinformed about this at least ones that i speak to but the president has a extremely extremely marginal impact on the economy can he do things to affect the economy yes he can biden's right now if you can look this up go research it for yourself biden's trade wars with china right now are four times as impactful as Trump's China trade wars were. The media is not talking about this. They're really not. But Biden's trade war with China is hurting China way more than Trump did. And you know how Trump went so hard on that. He, he really honed in on that point that, you know, he was going to war with China. It didn't work. Biden is doing it, though, better than Trump did. But he's not going to talk about that because that's going to make his that's going to make, you know, his whole thing. His whole running campaign is, uh, you know, I'm I'm better than Joe Biden. That's that's it. And he's not. Gas prices up. Your utility bill is going to go up right now. Crime is up. 
This border is wide open. They're destroying this country. There's men and women's sports. The, the, the Georgia border's right wide open? Sports. And I said the other day, they don't even know the definition of a woman yet. They're still talking about that, aren't they? Don't even know the definition of a woman yet. I don't understand how any of this has to do with politics, my man. What, what this, what's the definition of a woman? So uh, you know the definition of a woman, so I'm going to go vote for you? He needs to get away from these Republican talking points. He needs to just get away from them because he just, he just blurts them all out in one sentence. It's just him vomiting all this shit at the same time. It's so hard to sit here and watch this man talk. I can tell you the definition of a woman because it's written in my Bible. He said, I can tell you the definition of a woman because it's written in his Bible. And it said man and woman. And man and woman. Woman is from the rib of a man. And I'm going to let y'all know this too because they're trying to fool you here. Man Wait, he just, he can't get pregnant. I can't, I'm not going to. He just said that uh, a woman came from a man. That's what he. That's what he just said. So he just again. I talk about things like that. What we need to talk about. We need leaders in Washington that got guts to do the right thing. So if President Obama, I'm like, where is he been? I hate when they do this shit. Where has he been since all this been going on? He's been in his nice house, hasn't he? I haven't seen. He said, "Where is Obama when this has been going on?" He doesn't have a. He talks about this stuff sometimes, but it's like, dude, he was president for eight fucking years. What the fuck do you want him to do? Where was Obama at? Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? We need to talk about, we need leaders in Washington that got guts to do the right thing. So if President Obama, I'm like, where has he been? Where has he been since all this been going on? He's been in his life. Yeah, someone from a uh, member of the GOP is going to sit here and talk about members in Congress doing the right thing when the entire GOP almost wanted to try and overthrow democracy and not, not honor a fair election in a country that prides itself in having free and fair elections. He's so, he's, he is unbelievably, unbelievably dumb. And it's like I said, his brain is completely destroyed from, uh, he, he has CTE from playing football for so long and he, he's just not fit to run. He is not fit to make any any major decision or uh, any pass any form of public policy making because he doesn't know. He does not know what the fuck is going on. Nice house, hasn't he? I haven't seen him. Did he bring in a cheaper gas? Did he bring in a cheaper groceries? So what did he come here to do? Did he bring any cheaper gas, bring any cheaper groceries? Then what did he come here to do? Herschel, what did you bring? What did you bring, Herschel? Some stupid fucking shit you said that doesn't matter. To try to get you to elect, uh, in the, uh, what? He, <laughs> you said he tried to get you to elect Joe Biden. He was going to say it. Did he bring in a cheap of groceries? He, does, he doesn't even know. He literally does not. He can't even remember the name of the person who's running against him. Georgia, um, this is the member of the GOP who wants to represent you. What did he come here to do? To try to get you to let uh, in He was going to say Joe Biden. To try to get you to let Joe... Uh, uh, he can't remember his name. This fucker cannot remember his name. It's it's like I said, you know, uh, these these Republicans, uh, you know, it's every single thing, every single thing that they criticize Democrats for, you can look at them and say, well, you do it too, because they do. And it, I've said this before, I think that there's plenty of room to criticize Democrats and Republicans, but these Republicans, they, they are just, now, at this point in time, the Republican extremism is becoming just kind of a little scary, because it, it really doesn't seem like they care about who's running for them, but as long as they hate the dams, it's all good. And that's scary. Because the Republicans do not have people's best interest at heart. The Republicans, they care about the wealthy. Because they are wealthy. They care about themselves, and that's it.